Let's talk about daily habits of successful salespeople. See, the clue to be successful in sales starts with how you approach every single day. Selling is all about mindset. You've got to get your mindset right. <laughs> Here are three habits that highly successful salespeople do every single day that actually turn them into a sales rock star. The first habit is be early and not rush. The second habit is dress for success. And the third habit is be on the offense and not on the defense. Let's talk about the first habit, which is be early and not rush. Make it a point every single day to get to work at least 15 to 30 minutes early so that you can breathe and you can have a game plan for that day. Take the time to go over your callbacks for that day and make the, sure that you are prepared for them when they occur. This would be a great time to actually listen to your previous calls to look at ways that you can improve. You see, athletes that do not take time to review their game film will end up being one hit wonders and they're going to stay a lounge act. If you want to be a sales rock star, take the time to listen to your calls so that you can fix whatever mistakes that you're having. See, selling is psychological, so you have to be in the right mindset. You can't just expect to win. You have to expect to win. You can't just hope for it. See, on your way to work, one, a really good thing to do would be to listen to something that will get your mind calm and ready for the day. See, listening to sales techniques or motivation is one of the best things that you can actually do for your mind in the morning when you're going to work. Be a sponge and listen to what others are doing to be successful and put your own spin on it. Also, you cannot expect success if you're not prepared for it. You must have a game plan for that day and not just leave it up to chance. Do not leave your sales day up to chance. Too many salespeople leave their day up to chance and hope that luck's going to kind of carry them through it. Your calendar pipeline should have two to three potential sales that could potentially close that day for you. See, those that leave their, their day up to chance, that type of luck will run out for even the most talented salesperson out there. Referrals will become, to the sales rock star, the best leads that they can call. Make sure to cultivate your referrals. See, a sales rock star takes the time to ask for referrals from their clients. These referrals go into their pipeline as opportunities. Let's talk about habit number two, which is dress for success. See, this does not mean that you must show up in a suit and a tie. What it means is that you must dress nicely and, and make sure that your hair is not disheveled. See, how you dress impacts how you see yourself that day. There's this misconception that since a salesperson is actually selling over the phone, they can dress how they want because the prospect cannot see them. That is incorrect. That is a misconception. How you feel about yourself is how your energy is going to come across actually over the phone. See, here's a great sales technique to do when you're selling over the phone. Try to visualize the other person, what they look like when you're talking to them over the phone. See, are they tall? Are they short? What color hair do they have? Do they wear glasses? See, bring humanity to that other person that you're talking to is gonna make that phone call more personal and more professional for you. See, individuals wanna work with professionals. If a salesperson does not dress like a professional, it's very hard to have the mindset of a professional. The question I wanna ask is, would you buy from you? See, if you're meeting with that prospect that you're talking to over the phone, would you buy from you? Be very honest with yourself. The prospect that you've never met in person will be agreeing to give you some of their deepest and most personal information over the phone. You must dress for success and be presentable to yourself and to the people that you're selling to over the phone if you expect for them to buy from you. The last habit, number three, be on the offense, not the defense. If you're not prepared for the prospect, the prospect is not going to be prepared for you. You must have a willingness to help everybody that you talk to, and that starts from the very second that they pick up the phone. Your willingness to help will turn into the other person's cooperation. What you need to, be, what you need to do to be on the offensive. So you must be prepared for the phone call or the type of lead that's coming into your dialing system. If you're slouching in your chair, playing a game, or shopping, then you will not be prepared for that other person. 
you must bring into consideration the receiving end of your communication when you're actually in phone sales. See, one thing that a sales rock star is, is they're very empathetic. If you're not prepared, it's gonna come across that you have no empathy for that other person. So many salespeople put all this effort out there without any chance of it paying off for them right from the very beginning of the phone call. Your phone call can be a one-time transaction, but it must feel like and it must be treated like a lifetime relationship. They must buy you right from the very beginning. See, you do this by viewing the other person as a teammate and connect with them by addressing them by their first name right away. If you fail to do this, then the prospect will just be a random name and number in your CRM to you. The prospect is actually gonna end up feeling it. Be the expert and professional that they're actually looking for to help them. A sales rock star does this, does this by being prepared for each phone call. Either you control the phone call or the phone call will control you. Sell the problem, not the solution. See, selling should always be directed at solving a problem. Make someone feel the full force of the problem so that they can experience the full force of your solution. You do not want to come across as a high pressure salesy individual that will make the other person uncomfortable and unresponsive to you. Take that salesy, aggressive, and superficial mindset out of your mind and focus on the problem. Focus on connecting from the second that you open up your conversation by seeing the other person as a teammate and the start of a very beautiful relationship.